So the world's being confronted now by anxiety, fear, darkness. At the same time, people all over the planet are discovering their inner strength. It's a phenomenon that's happening. People are learning and using specific skills that when practiced, enable them to transform dark situations that they face. For example, when you learn to listen deeply to another person in a conflict, what seemed an unbridgeable gap, an unbridgeable gulf, becomes a bridge over which you can both cross. Our course will show you how to do that. For another example, when you learn to use the energy of anger, it can become an internal fuel to bring about change. So the point of the Mighty Heart course is to provide you, each of you, with a set of skills, key abilities that are used daily by people in countries in conflict, skills that enable them not only to face, but to transform the challenges they face. And this applies directly to our own lives now. Where do we have conflicts in our lives with colleagues, family, friends, even with ourselves? So who is this course for? And the short answer is people like you. The skills that you learn in this course are used by mothers, wanting their kids' school to be more environmentally conscious, by teachers keen to enable their students to resolve disputes, by a woman who works in a ministry of defense, who's passionate for soldiers to learn to prevent war and not to have to fight wars, by a global retail company, uh, I can actually mention it, it's H&M, who started teaching it to their top executives, and have now cascaded the skills right down to shop floor staff who are using these skills to connect with their communities. It's quite magic what's going on. It's also being used by a woman who is both Ukrainian and Russian, and she's desperate to bridge the gulfs of misunderstanding in her respective families. It's also used by a business coach who realized that his clients wanted to know how to take a stand on ethical issues. So why did we develop it? I've been working on conflict situations for 50 years and 20 years I spent getting nuclear weapons policymakers at the very top uh, in the five then nuclear nations to listen to each other. And then having done that, I realized that at the, at the other end of the spectrum, that is at grassroots level, local leaders were doing an incredible job of stopping violence in their towns and villages. So I set up Peace Direct back in 2003 to learn from them and to get more support for their wise and brilliant methods. And these are some of the skills that we shall bring to you. And we do this because experience has taught us that anyone, anywhere, confronted with no matter what type of challenge, can make a difference. And not only make a difference, but actually change lives. So why now? Well, while the war in Ukraine has created this current climate of fear and anxiety, there are many wars going on globally, such as in Myanmar, Syria, the Congo, that are not getting the same attention and their people are not receiving the same support. And as we've seen with Vladimir Putin, if we don't recognize the signs and learn to de-escalate feelings of humiliation, these conflicts could also continue and continue to escalate. 
So we feel we have to make this, this Ukraine war that we're witnessing so closely, the last big war. These skills that we offer to you, and we'll describe them in detail in a moment, are the basis for measures and techniques that could avoid such a terrible war in future. These are ways to address the aggression of a humiliated nation, to use respect instead of threat, to calm fears, to build bridges, to establish guarantees, and overall, to take a stand for how the greatness of the human spirit plus ingenuity can replace tawdry deceit and lying. And these are the same skills that we can use in our daily lives. <laughs>